close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side We are two crazies from South Africa That is Frick and Pietru We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We left Green Island and we're on our way to Stingray City. But the sea state out here is just horrific. You can't really see it on the camera, but geez, some of these waves are as high as mountains. I've been stowing stuff away at what it seems like we're on a big passage. This is just crazy. That was quite a departure. We, we put our sail up. And this is the other side of Green Island where we were anchored the last couple of days. So this is more on the windy side. And this is where all the kite surfers and everybody comes to. There's a big reef between here and there, so you can't enter that area from here. So we are on our way to, to Stingray City. Apparently there's a lot of arrays. Um, let me just adjust a little bit of course. So and it is you can see all these reefs and rocks. Not a good place to be in this weather, but we are going in there. Also <laughs> very tight so let's see how this sea state is on that side and this is what it looks like from inside not that bad but you're much worse than what it looks like we saw all the boats coming out of our anchorage and we saw them going up and down these massive swells these big big monoles and it's true bob now we experiencing it this morning it looks like that guy goes completely airborne. Yo. I have changed our course now to go in here and in here means like really going in between all of these rocks and things like this. So I hope we can get through <laughs> Looks a little bit crazy. And our anchorage that we want to go there is over there. Wish. So let's hope we can see what's happening. So very soon I will drop the, the Genoa and just go on engines only. Because we are going depending on the sea state because there's pretty big swell still coming in we're already very shallow so we are approaching stingray city look at that water and obviously there are reefs coral reefs that you can't believe it's a frick we'll have to navigate like crazy it's like little channels that you go through we are on the Antigua Facebook group um, if it's possible to anchor yet was, but if you really zoom in you'll see there are anchor spots it is getting real the reef is over there I'm not sure you guys can see it but there's a reef there running all the way there and it is this reef over here so you can see this and there's a little gap they call it south channel and then there's another reef and then there's north channel and we need to go through this north channel put the camera up there it's on the spreader there and by checking the chart so i can also do this this one I can see my uh, DVD seat and I can see the chart and I can see the camera and then I've got two eyeballs here too so we anchored and I put the waypoint there and we can see we are 45 meters 
and the chain counter say 42. This is how it looks. Lay your head on my chest. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gone. Very brave to anchor where we've just anchored because it's like treacherous little passages that we go through. Ugh, we're against the sun now. And we spotted a beach around the corner from here, and we haven't had a wood fire for quite a while. And we can could see through the far look as there was a lot of dead wood, so. We will not be destroying any trees. I wonder if we're gonna see lizards because they are they known to have iguanas and lizards and everything here in the in the Caribbean. All these islands. Oh there's a big look at this big bird here. Yeah. And he's pretending like we're not here. Whoop, there he goes. Massive bird. We want to put our fire is there and look here. It's a brown one. It's a big one. What do they say? where we had the braai last night the barbecue so we need to go over here to go to stingray city or close by because um, we're gonna go check out the stingrays so it would appear that that is stingray city not a lot of activities going on there but there is a current situation here in Antigua See you guys, far as COVID is concerned, so maybe they're not operating. So what we'll do is we'll get in the water here somewhere and just drift with the picks all the way down there. It's over now, so don't despair. We went 
snorkeling around Stingray City, but because of COVID, I think they even blocked over there. And Pietro is busy finding us a spot. Because those boats that are sticking out there, I think that is where they... Oh, where are we now? I think it's there. I think that's what we see from this way over here. So I think the, but if you look at this area here, it looks exactly the same as that. So I don't think we're going to see much difference there than here. All these are about the same, do you agree? And there's a lot of boats now over there. There, there's a lot of boats there. A that's got AIS on. So there's it's like I, lots of jet skis and yeah. stuff there's like that. There's a lot of coral <coughs> reefs there. This also looks quite interesting, but... Long yeah. Island. Yeah. Okay. Should we go there rather? Then we... Then we go over tomorrow or whenever. We also have this book. It's a, the book. Granada to the Virgin Islands. So the Lesser Antilles. Let's see what do they say. Oh. There's nesting sea turtles and a luxury resort on Long Island. Yeah, the only way this guy is saying is we can come in there and go all the way back in there or split going to there and then kind of like stuck. You need to go back all the way, it seems like. Doesn't say much more. And this is it. Okay, let's go, let's go! cannot see the reefs so I'm just going back on my previous track my avionics rooted as, and I was not feeling comfortable it was very close to that island over there coming between those two islands there in and then you inside here but man look where he wanted me to come in So go in there, there's a rock, there's a rock, that is not even, that's not even 100 meters and that is very shallow, here's reefs, here's shallow points and I could not see them, that's a problem, I could not see and look, he wants me to go between it, I would rather go there but anyway, so I decided no, I'm going to look for something else and I came in here and the reason why I selected this is if we zoom a little bit out here is a navigation marker if you can see these straight lines so if you can get that spot then you can follow this navigation route and it's going like that so I just I just followed that one it was actually going there you can see it's going 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 so just follow that all past here and it going in here and then it just stops because then you're already inside so you're safe
Petru is still laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, I need maybe a knife. There's a there's a fishing line in our prop, and I'm getting ready to do the dive. And I tried last night or yesterday afternoon to get it off. And as I was sitting, I thought something dropped in the water because it's. It's uh, definitely something touching my, my toes and it's like looking down and it's two fish busy eating my toes <laughs> Like piranhas, I didn't like that I'm not <laughs> a little bit afraid of going in um, But I'm decently clothed so I think I'm a relatively... <laughs> yeah, early bird catches the worm <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let's not <laughs> go there. <laughs> Okay, well, the fish line is out, uh -uh. so this is what I removed. <laughs> is everything out? Yeah. yeah, everything is out. So Fripp dove the prop because there was fishing line stuck in it. We're not sure if we actually damaged something, so I'm going to start the engine quickly. Okay, let's go see if there's water in the oil. The joys of getting older. Doesn't look like there's any milkiness to the oil. So, I think we dodged that bullet.